Parents whose children attended that South Jersey daycare center found to be contaminated with mercury say the government failed them and put their children at risk. Once mercury was discovered in the school built on the former industrial site, the building was closed and medical tests began. Last night, as environment correspondent Ed Rogers tells us, state environmental officials met with the families. Anger, disbelief and worry. Those were the emotions on the faces and voiced by parents of the children who attend the Kitty College Daycare Center in Franklinville, Gloucester County, as they waited outside the town hall for a meeting with state environmental and health officials last night. The center was ordered closed late last month by the DEP after elevated levels of mercury were discovered in air samples. The site was a former thermometer company with a history of mercury contamination. Kelly Swink's three children went to the center. I want to know what do I need to expect from my children, like what kind of symptoms, like in order to know that they've been affected by this and what can we do to stop it. The meeting was limited to parents and workers at the center. The press was banned. State environmental officials cited the privacy of the families. Two township committeemen were also kept out of the meeting. They said their presence would have required that the meeting be opened under state law. What I was told was that the people in there would rather not have the press in there and therefore that's a reason for us not to be in there because then if we go in there it becomes an open public meeting. So out of respect for those people who I'm told don't want us to be in there, don't want the press in there, then we respect them. But parents who emerged from the meeting, including this man who refused to identify himself, said no individual child's case was discussed and that the meeting consisted of finger pointing between the various state and county officials. The, the, the uh, environmental protection wanted the uh, private meeting to keep the media out, not the parents. Parents who did speak were visibly shaken. Chuck Dodaro says his four-year-old son once attended the center. He's been diagnosed as autistic. Now, we don't know if that was, um, you know, a, a, a false um, a diagnosis based on uh, mercury poisoning, because mercury poisoning and uh, signs of autism are very similar. So, um, you must be just curious. I am. It's, it's, my, my head is spinning right now. State officials are awaiting test results from the Centers for Disease Control to determine the level of exposure for the 30 children who attended the Kitty College. Mercury poisoning can cause damage to the central nervous system. Authorities are also testing the drinking water of four homes near the center to see if mercury contamination is spread into underground wells. Meanwhile, the state attorney general's office is investigating. What the Attorney General's office is investigating and what everyone wants to know is how this daycare center was allowed to open when state, federal and local officials all had some warnings about contamination on the site. It's furious. Um, I mean, just to even think that they would allow or to give a CO to a site for, you know, a daycare center knowing that it was on the, the list of contaminated sites. How, I mean, how is that possible? Ed Rogers, NJN News, Franklin Township, Gloucester County.